Hi there, this is Sangamesh. Welcome to your channel, Beginner Academy. As part of this particular video, what we would be doing is, we would be running a Hello World Python application. This Python application would be running on CentOS operating system. Let us start. Let us type Docker ter Terraform, search uh, Docker over you. Click on Docker provider. Copy this provider configuration. Open uh, Intel J. Let us create a new provider.txt. Provider.tf. TF stands for Terraform. Let us paste it. Now let us create another uh, file called as a main.tf. In this one we would be entering docker image and docker container related configuration. Let us click on docker image. Copy the example given over here. Paste it in uh, main.tf. Uh, tagging related but it is not required as of now for us so let us delete it off let us change the name let us give a proper name in our case send send to us slash python let us change our uh, terraform resource name as well now let us go to docker container let us copy this particular example and put it in main.tf here also let us change the proper name for our container let us type container docker container would be having a reference to docker image so if you see here yeah it has a reference let us change the name as well Send to us slash python. Let us copy it. Yeah, paste it over here. Now, uh, let us add uh, Docker file. Let's create a Docker file now. Over internet, there's already Python installation configuration. Configuration is there that I would be copying it. Our base image is uh, CentOS, hence, let us extend it from CentOS with the 7 version. Paste it over here, whatever we have copied, it's basically a Python installation. Now we need to write uh, Python or hello world application related configuration we need to add over here. So let us type our working directory that is slash app. Let us type uh, copy that is basically all the work directory. Let us copy it to or docker let us type cmd inside that one python comma minus u comma app dot py our uh, entry point we would be using app dot py Now let us create another file app.py it's, it's basically a hello world application so let us type from time import sleep let us add a while condition true Here 
E should be capital and colon let us add our uh, hello world print statement printf hello world let us add our let us add a sleep one second so that what it will do is it will keep when it this would be running it it will keep on each time printing uh, every one second yeah so let us uh, check back again if you see a docker image it will call build path and it will use a dot by default it will use a docker file let us go back to the documentation search for uh, build path where docker file is there let us search it it is uh, i think it is just the downside docker file yeah if you could see here it defaults to a path a docker file itself right and docker file is a reference to our app.py so obviously that would be used now let us run Terra for a minute what it will do is it will install our provider uh, .tf from Terraform registry it will pull in this particular provider and install in uh, my local directory as you can see over here uh, if you check it there is a dot terraform folder is created it has all the binaries downloaded from this particular provider you can see the complete path now let us run terraform plan it would be basically to run um, two con Two resources it will create one is docker image and second one is docker container as you can see right so now let us run uh, docker uh, terraform terraform apply the same two resources it would be creating it let us enter this uh, it will take a uh, little bit more time because it has to download all the binaries and install and all this bit around 30 to 40 seconds it will take this is the intermediary container what it is running it is not our end goal already 20 seconds has passed let us search again if you see image ls this is downloaded 16 seconds ago yeah now if you could see uh, two resources are created uh, see the name whatever the name what we have given it in our code it has used the same name yeah so yeah let us check uh, with the command line as well so yeah see here the name is also same thing okay whatever command we have given it it is running so let us run this now it should print hello world every second yeah if you could see it is printing it is doing its job now let us check uh, OS version uh, since we have used the uh, sent OS it should show us that bit let us execute into a sent OS Uh, this is a command in order to check our OS what is the operating system release it is running in our container you can see CentOS is running let us close it if you are interested in learning more about multi-cloud and DevOps tools please subscribe this channel and like this video thank you